First of all, the time I we are in Sierra Leone, I have one of my friends called Fatimata. This my friend, we are we went for a birthday party. Two by the time, okay, one woman called lady and brother go and meet me in the house because two by the time we went for the birthday party, the time was very late, so we cannot able to go back at home because the place is too far. So we sleep in our friend place named by Fatimata. So that one boy came, her sister named Lady M. The boy go and meet my my friend that. My sister say, want girls to come in Gambia to come and do restaurants work. But two by the time, the the boy with me, with my friend, go to the boy's sister. After we went to the boy's sister, the boy's sister tell us that one woman in Gambia say, he wants girls to come and do restaurants work. So then I said, that is good, but let me go and meet my parents, tell my parents about it. Me and uh, my friend, my friend, brother, and the woman, Lady M, who went to my mother, would tell my mother about it. After I tell my mother about it, my mother say, no problem, because two by the time we are closed in school, because we have holiday. After sitting my from three, but I sure that they call it level nine in Gambia, but it's from three in our country. So after my mother said, this is holiday. So if he said that, no problem, you can go with with them. So my mother asked again, which work? Then this woman tell my mother that is restaurants work. So my mother said, there's no problem, it can go with you. So the day, the place is very late, so we cannot able to come. So the other day, the next day, we went in the park. We take transport. After the transport, the the woman said, you can go with the driver. So we went to by the driver. We take the car. After the car, we are coming. But I met to lady, um, one girl called Zainab. So I asked this girl, you know what we are coming to do in Gambia? The girl said yes, because me, they tell me that it's restaurant work. But the girl... I said me too. They tell me that is a restaurant work. After that, the girl said, no problem. They tell you that is restaurant work. Me too. They tell me that is restaurant work. So we can go. So we went. After we, we arrived, okay, two by the road first. This woman, we called the woman that our feeding money is finished. So this woman give, send the money to by the driver. Tell the driver that let the driver give us the money. Any money we asked for, let the driver give us because it's feeding money so anything we need on the road so that the driver can give us the money so that we can buy food so so okay no problem if we need anything i can tell zainab zainab tell the driver the driver can give us anything so after we arrived in gambia in the park one woman two lady came to us um, lizzie and rihanna say we are the one who going to collect you people because those two people are sierra Leone. so they communicate with us. Then I ask them that, Auntie, please, can you tell us which work we can do in Gambia? He tell us, yes, it's a restaurant's work. But I tell him that, okay, no problem. He asks us again, what let them tell you? I tell the woman that, let them say it's a restaurant's work. He said, that is not a problem. If, if let them say that it's restaurant's work, then it's restaurant's work. So I said, okay, no problem. We went to one woman called Binta in Brekama, Blumakolo in the bar called Yasimba. So after we arrived there, this woman, this two lady tell us that this is your madam. He said, this is the woman who pay your transport and the day you ask for the feeding money, this is the woman who give the money, named by Binta. Say so that this is your madam, this is the woman you have to pay the money. So I tell him that, okay, no problem. The other guy said, no problem. We can pay the money. After that, me, I asked back the woman, the Binta. Say, Sister Binta, which work can we do here? He tell us that it's restaurant's work. So I said that no problem, we can do it. So moment by the time, the, the, the night, I see the girl, we came together. I see the girl starting doing the Ashao work. I asked the girl, moment by the time, because they enter with one boy. After getting outside, I asked the girl, what are you doing? He tell me that I'm doing uh, a shower work. I tell him that this is the work we came for. He said, no. He said, but I want to balance this woman money fastly 
so that if now I work for the restaurants, I work for this work, after that I will complete everything, I give her the money, so that if the money is now, that time I'm finished for balancing, I will find my own money for myself. I asked the girl, are you doing this work before? He tell me that yes, I used to do the actual work in Sierra Leone. So if I see those people are doing it, so that's why I meet where I do it. He said, no problem, if you say so, that is your own business, but for me, I cannot do it. So the girl go back. So I sit down outside. After sitting outside, in two to two to two thirty to three o'clock at, at night. Yes, at, at night they close the bar. We sleep. In the morning, this woman tell us that we need to go and buy clothes for us. We want to go and make our ear. So we went in one place called hmm, this. Yeah. this place called Serakunda. We went there in the place. But the woman tell us that we go and make our air buy clothes for us. But we went in one place, in a big place, but like a shop. Outside, they used to sell their medicine. Just juju juju things. They used to sell it outside. But the other place inside the office is there. So after I we went in the shop, I asked, Sister Binta, what are we doing here? He said, I want to buy something. He said, okay, we can go. After we went inside, we meet one man. He's a Nigerian man, but the man was very so fat, but he's an old man. We meet the man, who was sitting. After sitting down, so I asked this, uh -huh, the man with Binta, my sister, Sister Binta, they went out. The intel, I don't know what he go and tell the man. So after the man come inside, he said, you two people, you are come and take oaths. He said, you are coming to take oaths. After taking the oaths, they will wash you, bath. They will bath you so that if you have bad luck, that bad luck will get out so that you can work the money fast, fast. After that, you pay. I said, okay, no problem. So, two by the time, this woman say we can take oaths. I call mm, the madam, Binta. I call him. I say, Sister Binta, come. I want to ask you something. So, we went out. I asked him that, Sister Binta, what this oath mean? He tell me that, no, don't worry. After taking the oath, I will tell you everything about it. I said, okay, no problem. We went inside. After I went inside, the man said, you will come and take oath. After taking this oath, the man said, if you do not pay the money, you will go mad or you die. He said, because you already take the oath. After that, I said, no problem. If you say so, me, I can pay the woman money because I show that. If it's a restaurant work, I can pay the money. Because that work also, yes, is a hard work. But me, I know that I can do it. So after taking the oath, I was so, sitting uh, down. In taking the oath, what were the things you say when taking the oath? The things is, okay, because the man show us, if you say, he says, say like this, if I do not pay this woman money, let me go mad or die. That is the thing the man tell us is the thing we to say. So, after taking this oath, this woman tell me that it's restaurant, uh, uh, it's a shower work. I say, Sister Binta, what? He tell me that it's a shower work. I say, it's Sister Binta. He say, no, me, I cannot do it. So, moment by the time, I was crying, crying, crying. So, he tell me that now you are taking the oath. If you say no, if you say you want to go, you can go. But if you go, you die or you go mad. So, I do the work because I'm afraid of the oath. So I do the work. After doing this, I shall work. So long time, one man came in the place, in the bar. He said, he said uh, you girl, come. I said, okay. I go and meet the boy. The man tell me that, but he's a very big man. He have car. He tell me that, you are a very small girl, so do this kind of work. He said, by now, you fit to go to school. You are come and do, I shall work here. I explain everything to the man. Like the way I explain now. So the man said, today you will leave this place. But the girl, we came together, the Zainab. I tell the Zainab that because I take this, the girl like my own sister. So I tell the girl about it. So the girl said, no problem. So I went inside to go and carry one clothes because I wear short thing. So I went inside to go and carry clothes, long one, or I carry trousers. So this girl, this Zainab go and tell Binta that, one man was putting a car there. He want to carry Memuna out. He want to take Memuna to go back and see. I do. So, 
you the binta the one i used to call sister binta was sitting by the door say me muna come here because two by the time i want to went out one so that i can meet the man so binta said come here come here i said okay i was standing he tell me that what is inside the bag I say it's money. So today there is a walk. Oh, you see the money is plenty inside the bag. So okay, let me see. So I say no, don't worry. If I finish working up, I will give you the money so that you can check it. He say no, I must see inside this bag. So I give her the bag. You see the clothes there. There is no plenty money, but my clothes I want to wear is inside the bag. He say where are you want to go? I tell him that. No, I don't want to go anywhere. This clothes is inside my bag for a very long time. He tell me that it's a lie. He said, I know everything because Zainab tell me about it. So he said, go inside. He took my phone because too by the time I have a small phone, single phone. So I, he took the phone in my hand. He said, go inside. So I went inside. I was sitting in the bed crying. So they went to the man, insult the man. They started insulting the man. Binta mother, Binta, Binta father. The, I don't know, the O.C., I don't know where he used to, because there's a policeman. They go and insult the, the man. They, they usually fight the man. They send their boys to fight the man, yeah, yeah, and dead man. They went there to go and fight the man. So I was inside crying. After that, Minta mother meets me inside. You don't know that these people is a bad people. They used to tell you that I will help you to go back in your country, but they will not. So they will go and use you. They cannot give you money if they make you pregnant. They will not take care of you. After that, they will drive you in the street so that you can stream. I think that this woman is telling me the truth. So, two by the ten, that woman broke the SIM, the SIM of my iPhone. So, he broke it. He go and buy me another new SIM. He says so that I cannot call again. I cannot communicate with, with the man again. So, we we'll forget about it. So, those... So, uh, before going further, who is uh, Binta's mother? Is the SIM. Okay, and the father is the police officer. Yes, is the police officer. So, Binta, the because these two days, okay, three three weeks ago, Binta, okay, we are sitting outside. So two by the ten, I went inside to go and take something. But I see my brothers are coming, but they are far distance. So I see that they are coming. So I, I, uh, I said, this one is coming over there. It is my brother. So I run and go inside. I sit inside, inside the room on the bed. So I was sitting there. I hold one boy phone name Oms. I hold the phone. So customer called me. Say, Memuna, come out. I'm outside waiting for you. So I said, come and meet me. So I said, no. So I cannot go inside there because I know those people. If I enter there now, they will think that I'm a criminal. He said, so come out. Come and carry me. I said, okay, no problem. So I went out two by the time. My brothers, all of them see me. My mother called me. What are you doing here? I said, wait. After walking this man, I can tell you everything. So okay, go and come. So I went inside. After walking this man, the mango, I take chairs inside the bar. I put it under the mango tree. We are sitting down with my brothers. So they said, you know, what are you doing here? They started insulting me, my brothers. I said, you, you are a very small girl. You just sit the form three, we call it level nine. You say, you are a very small girl. You are doing this kind of work here. I said, wait, let me explain to you. They started insulting me. Even my other brother slapped me. He said, this work is not good for you. Why you do not call me? I tell my brother that even me, I do not know that we are in Gambia here. Because mother tell me that we are in uh, Guinea. I said, so that I do not know you are living in Gambia. So he said, okay, today you will leave this place. But moments by the time, we have issue about key. One girl inside my roommate gave me this key. Say, if Precious come, give her the key. But who by the time, Precious do not come. This my, this my sister, Zainab, come. Say, give me the key. I say, no. Say, the way you approach me is not good. I say, I cannot give you this key. In fact, this one is the law. There's, they do not say that give Zainab key. I said, they say, give Precious. I said, Precious and Zainab, they are different people, different names. I said, so that I cannot give you this key. He tell me that you must give me this key. I said, this key I cannot give you. You go and tell Binta, our madam. After I went inside, tell our madam about it. So I was, I was sitting outside. He tell my madam. My madam said, give me the key. Moment by the time, I give her the key. After I give her the key, I went out sitting outside with my brothers. So Binta come. You what? Okay, precious confessed. He say, Binta say, uh, Zainab go and meet you. That give me the key. Do not give her the key. I say yes, I did it. He say why? He say because me. I say because 
your sister say give precious it do not say give sign up i said that's why i cannot give this key i say but sister means come and meet me say give me the key i give her so after that this precious go and tell Zainab that me say our stupid mother he do not go and tell our mother more he tell Zainab so Zainab was very angry with me you go and tell my madam that me say uh, precious tell say uh, me say our stupid madam so Binta come outside meet me sitting with my brothers started to say memuna memuna what did you say you say that me i'm a stupid madam say what i say me i do not say you are a stupid madam say you are a liar he started asking my brothers my brother said wait let me explain to you he started querying he called their boys uh, yaya and dead man they came after that they want to fight my brothers so Binta want to slap me one of my brother all his arm so you cannot slap my sister in front of me after using my sister to come in gambia to come and find money for you now you want to come and slap my sister in front of me he said that one cannot possibly say me i cannot do it i cannot stand you slap my sister so after that fight open yeah yeah and dead man was fighting my brothers so after that one of my brother they injury my brother yeah, in by the eyes but so my brothers all of them go but me still i was sitting there Binta started insulting my mother back, but that time my brothers left. He started insulting my mother. My mother is this, my mother is that. I say, me too, I return that. Only a bastard daughter can behave like the way you are behaving. If somebody tells you something, you need to come and meet me and ask me first. You do not do it. You are behaving like this. Binta say, me, you say bastard. I say, yes, I say it. Because you too, you insult my mother. That's why me too, I insult you like that. So he say, that's why you are insulting me. I used to insult your mother. You cannot say anything. Today, I insult your mother. That's why you two years say me, I'm a bastard. See, yes, that one is too much. All the time, you used to insult my mother. I used to take it easy because the first time you are making like you like me. But now I see the difference. So that if you insult my mother, that's why me too, I insult you. So he call her mother. Tell her mother about it. So her mother call. He's called me. Say, my mother, what did you say? You say my daughter is a bastard. Say I was a 13 years old when her father uh, virginates me. After that, her father pay my bride price. Say, so my daughter is not a bastard. Say, you, my mother, you are a bastard. In fact, your mother is a bastard. Binta mother, uh, Yasin. So it started insulting me. But still, I was sitting down crying. Say, this woman do not know where this issue is. Where the issue starts. Now, this woman insults back my mother. So I was crying. After by the time, I say, me, I will go and report myself in the police station that this woman come with me here. After they say, let me work for him. I shall work. After you do not tell me in my country that is, I shall work. After I came now, after taking oaths, he tell me that is, I shall work. Now, he was insulting my mother. So this one cannot possible. Say, if this woman, if this woman, you need to ask me if you come ask me about it so i can explain to you you can understand about it but now you are insult my mother back without you do not ask i say me i go me i will go and report myself in the police station so too by the time i see my brother was, was standing the other one was crying a pain he say the boys yeah yeah and then my injury by the high spots i say what so i see the blood so i even take tissue where wipe the blood in the for in, in the high spot so i tell him sorry the same me i cannot stop here he say me i must go to the police station so we come in this big police station they tell us that go to suba police station because it's a small police station i said okay my brother said, all of we let's go to the suba police station so wait so we cannot go to that suba police station i said because if you go to that suba police station this one this one is a very simple one they will take it carelessly. I said I cannot take it serious. So my brother says it's true. Say wait, we can go to meet we going uh, in C4 to go and meet our chairman. So we are going there to go and meet our chairman, our father there. So we can go there to explain to him everything. So we went in C4, we tell the our our this uncle. Is, this, so this is how uh, the chairman got involved yes. till uh, it reaches to this stage. Yes. Now the uh, the question is, uh, how how long have you been doing been doing the work? Four months now. And uh, what was the amount that you were supposed to pay the madam? Okay, the money is two thousand five hundred. But for now, I pay him two hundred and fifty two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. 
two hundred and fifty thousand dollars is the money I give her. So it means every day uh, you 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 should give money. Yes, every day. The first month I give her two thousand every day. Two thousand, two thousand every day. The first month, that month's finish. Because if boys see new people, they will go work. If you show them big price, they used to pay the money. But after the three months now, they cannot pay the kind of money they used to pay before. They used to give you small money. But by the moment, I used to give her thousand five, thousand five, thousand five every day. Every day. There is no day I cannot work. If I am in my time, I will work every day. Thousand five, thousand five, thousand five. A part of the two thousand. Because I used to work two thousand this last month, but we pay a mother five hundred for rent house, five hundred for rent house. The thousand five I give the woman to MacBook. The two thousand in the first month I used to work two thousand five, or someday I used to work three thousand, but five hundred I, I used to pay house rent. The five hundred I will buy clothes, pray for me. I used to buy other things for myself. The two thousand I used to give her. This is the way the thing goes. So, so, so it means uh, even um, they bring you here, but you still pay for rent, and which is five hundred every yes, day. Every day, every day five hundred. Our mother is the back owner, so I used to pay that money every day five hundred for house rent. So we went in C4. We tell um, the ma yes the chairman about it. The man said this one is a child abuse because they asked me for my age. I tell him that he's 17 years old, <laughs> but my mother say, I'm not 17 years old. He said, I born 2007, so now 15 years. He says so. He says so this one is a child abuse. He says so we need to go to the police station. We tell the police about it. So we went in C4 police station. So they, f they said, let's go back in C4, yes, Suba police station. So we went in Suba police station. These people... Because we are sitting down with my brothers, all of us sitting down in the police station. But hours ago, um, Yasim come with a car, say that he remove her, sh her sh um, clothes, yes, shirt. Say, started crying, pour water in her body. Say that my brothers went there to destroy our bar, spoil everything there, stone. They want to burn the bar. They want to set fire on the bar. Too by the time I was very doubt, shock. Say how my brother can go in that place. Me, I cannot know. And then look at my brothers, all of them were sitting here. How they manage go in that place? Me, I do not know about it. So I say no, this one is not true because I do not see my brothers anyone move. They are all sitting in the police station. So this woman started crying, crying, crying. Say that my brothers went there to go and spoil everything inside the bar. They he say my brother go with fear. Go with cutlass, go with what? Scissors, go with um, bottle. If he say go with um, blocks, cement blocks, he said they want to go and spread the bar. So, too, by the time the other policeman come, the I don't know how to call the policeman, all of them come say, Better I do not meet you in, in that bar because he say Yasim called me that you people are in the bar spoiling something. Say better for you because we are not meeting you there. The, the, the policeman told you that? Yes, he told my brother about it. My brother said, you say uh, that we have luck because we, you cannot meet me in that bar. Say, what is this? And I see this woman was crying. So what problem is this one? This woman was crying that we go in, in a bar, spoil something. He tell the policeman that this one is not true. He said, then if I'm lying now, all of them, if we are lying, ask this uh, super police station man. He will tell you everything about it because we are not moving here. Since this morning, we are sitting in the police station. So, so we are not going anywhere. We are sitting here. So, so if this man uh, say we want to spread something in our bar, let the man show proof. The man do not have any proof. You always come with here and dead man. Say, this is the proof of it. These people say, um, you people go there to go and spread something. The Yasim say, me, I was not in the bar, but Yaya and Dead Man tell me about it. Yes, see, 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 told us all that. Um, in real fact, your age, uh, is it 15 or 17? What is your real age? My real age is 15 years, 2007, 15 years. So, two by the time, the, this policeman, okay, 
They come with one boy. They are a small boy there. Called Mama Lami. Mama Lami went there. Started insulting. My brother said, what is this? He go and hold one of my brother. He wants to fight the, the boy. So the policeman in Suba police station hold uh, Mama Lami. They put Mama Lami behind counter. They say he was standing here. So Mama Lami standing in there. So the other policeman come. Say they will um, send the file in the big police station. But the shock is why Mamelami was behind counter, but in the big police station, they leave Mamelami. You do not go behind counter again. You do not go inside the police station. They do not close Mamelami again. Only my brothers. My brothers do not know anything. They all my brothers, seven of them, put them in the police station. They close them. How that can happen? They do not close Mamelami. Yaya and dead man. They went there, they fight, they do not hold Yaya, they do not hold Mumelami, they do not hold dead man. Why? So that time I was very shocked. So after they say there is a two issue, the fight and my own uh, issue, yes. So this thing was there. So after that, after fight, 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 after explaining everything, they send the thing in the courts. Yes. So after that, okay. I, for the for the court, uh, is is uh, we will we will look at um, the, that is a case of its own. But then uh, we understand you were invited to the Child Protection Alliance. Yes. Um, when you went there, what was said? After we went to Child Welfare, uh, I explained everything. After I went to Child Welfare, I explained everything to them. After explaining everything to them, they said no. They said this one is a child abuse. So they said I need to leave uh, this community, even to C4 or Brikama. They said they want to take me in one place. I tell them that no. I can stay with my brothers because long time I do not stay with my brothers, but for now I will stay with them. So the other woman said, no problem, you can stay with them. But okay, he said, the woman said, Wednesday, he will win the in, in C4 and watch how the place look like so these people cannot go there to go and attack because they say my life in, is in very risk, in danger. He say because if these people say they will go there because now they know that I, uh, I say everything about them. They say the child welfare say. So I will go there so that I can settle everything. The child welfare asks me if I want to go back in Sierra Leone. I tell the child wife here that, yes, I want to go, but I want my money. The money I work and give them. What I tell them. The 250,000. Yes. It's the money. I tell them that I want back that money. After I have that money, no problem. I can go back. They pay for my transport. They give me the money. Yes, I will go back to school. All right. Thank you. Um, that is the uh, story of uh, the young girl. Uh,